crazycowgaming.net Hi guys, today I'd like to show you my cobblestone generator. What it is, it's actually four cobblestone generators that all push into one output. So what's happened already is when I walked in this room, I've stepped on these pressure plates, which has primed the upstairs, the system upstairs, so that it will actually work. So to start it, we've got to press this button, which will start. Uh, that button is connected to a mono stable circuit. It sends out a one tick pulse, pretty much, or it does, and that runs up and starts the circuit upstairs, which powers the pistons. So as soon as I break some of these, it'll replace them pretty quick. Fast enough to keep up with, say, probably two people mining the blocks in here. So it works out pretty well. The obsidian on the floor is not really needed, but if you had, say, air under there, it would be needed. It's just there as a portion. Make sure we don't go pushing anything we don't want to be pushing. So, let's go outside and have a quick look at it. So it's all fairly compact. Here we have the mono stable circuit. Credits to Minecraft Addict for showing me this. I, I went and had a look on his channel when I needed something small enough to fit there. And I found what I was looking for. So it just connects up to here, runs along the side, and powers this loop up here. This loop here runs around and around and around. Now when, when you stand on the pressure plate in there, it lifts this gold block up, which allows the circuit to complete and go around. It runs around. You'll notice these repeaters here have got some delay. If you don't set this delay, what will happen is only two of the cobblestone generators will actually have blocks pushed out of them. So it needs this tiny little bit of delay to get it working. So, as it comes around, this obsidian is behind the piston, there's a piston in here, and it runs on top, and it goes up to here, and underneath here is the piston that pushes down. So it, it very quickly, it powers the piston that pushes it up, and then it quickly powers the piston pushing down, which results, and then it goes around and does it all over again, and it will loop and loop and loop and loop until you walk out of the area. And this here falls down, or gets pulled down, and it breaks the circuit, and all the redstone will come to a complete stop like this. So, for now, so I can show you what it looks like when it's going around and around, I'm going to quickly put a redstone torch here to hold the circuit complete, which means I don't have to be inside here. And I can turn it on. So as you see here, we've got it going around and around. It's very fast, and it keeps up rather well. So I think what we'll do now is we will build it. This um, joys of uh, recording on uh, a live server. So we're going to go over here. I'm going to build it. So to start off with, we're going to build. I just need to count this one. Six. I'm not perfect, I don't remember everything. So we're going to dig a three hole, three by three hole in the ground. This is for the redstone. Too deep. Put some redstone in here. I'm going to lift it out the side here. Round up. Uh, this is meant to be up, I remember now. into the repeater. Now above this we're going to put our floor. Oops, better make that obsidian. This will be in a strife. I keep placing a ton of blocks that I don't need, so you may just not want to try and follow me too quick. Because I'm trying to build this nice and quick, keep the video short. Okay, better get this platform set up on top. Three, four, five, six. And come out three. Now you may want to put glass in here so you can see. You may have noticed in my other one glass in the roof, we may put that in, so keep that in mind. Am I flying into? Let's 
Zombies Fly Mod installed. Use it, but I don't cheat, so. Don't cheat any box here. This is security map on my, my own server. Now, I've got this in the wrong spot. As you can tell. Because it's meant to be a wall there. I should not try and build it too fast. I should stop and think. We need that block. Now that's meant to be a repeater. Plates. Get rid of them now. Don't need them. Uh, repeater. Delay doesn't matter. Okay, so let's get on to the, the main part up the top here. We can worry about the walls later. So the main part is this. Piston, piston, piston. Piston. All placed out like that. Now we need to get the top piston in place. Now this could be tricky if you don't have fly mod. Uh, I guess so. Uh, probably the easiest way to do it will be to... You see it doesn't want to go down, so the easiest way would probably be to get it to come from here. And that'll get it in place. I actually need that block on top of there, but that back in a minute. So now we just need to build off the sides of these. This is to stop the lava and the water springs mixing. We now I need to build two up next to each piston. Okay, so now we've got this. This is good. need to do, I think, is go around and put... I seem to be running out of space. Why am I running out of space? I'm not. It's all good. Put a block above each piston. And the obsidian behind each piston. Okay, so that's got that covered. Now we can make the loop. Now uh, keep in mind we want to lower this one corner here, because this is where we got to turn it on by. Now this could easily be built inside a hill, um, you just need to hold out a bit of space for it, that's all. Now I've already gone and put another one there where we don't need it. Now the reason for one on each side is just to add a bit of delay, but you always add one click adjustment to the one that goes into the obsidian. Okay, so did I? No, I didn't get that one. Okay, so now we just run redstone up. Now, we could just leave the dust here like this, but then it would activate at the same time as this, so we don't want that. So we need a repeater here. And there. And there. And there. And run that down onto each piece of obsidian. Okay, so that's done. Now we'll just connect the corners. Oh, now I've gone and adjusted that one. Okay, so that's that done. This is actually really simple to build. Uh, we still need redstone, we still need repeaters. We need the pistons so we can get our water and our lava. Now this is important. Uh, just put the two lavas. Oh, I shouldn't have put that there yet. My bad. It's going to make a mess. 
can't you put the water in first? Please put the water in first. Do not do what I did. Because this will happen. Although that's not too bad, it could be far worse. Okay, so now what you can see is that uh, there's four cobble generated at each side, and the top piston is facing down. Okay, so we're just about done. There's not much left to do at all. So now I'm just going to cover over the tops of these. Fail there. Because that's actually the top, that's the hardest part done. Already, so now we've just got to connect this mono stable circuit. This is just, yeah, I'm, I'm not even going to go into explaining how this works, but it works. Button goes there. You can get a very short pulse out of this one here. Sometimes hard to see on the server due to lag, so you'll have to excuse that. So now we're just going to catch the signal from that torch. Send up here. The repeater probably isn't needed here, but I just like to use it anyway. I'm not 100% sure it will work because there's only four wires here. So the repeater just makes sure it doesn't clash. So now we can go ahead and we can put that, uh, I guess we can put that glass in now if you really want. So we can put the glass there. There, there, and that being pushed around, and there. If you really want to see the cobble, which is not all that pretty, but put it there, there, and there as well. Well, so now all we've got to do is build the walls. And we're done. This will be really embarrassing if it doesn't work, but I am 99% sure we have done everything correctly. Oh, we haven't. Oh, dab. We have not finished yet. I need to take this out and insert what would be the gold block. How could I forget this? Sticky piston. Need you rotten thin. There we go. Fix that bit up that we forgot. Or that I forgot, anyway. Put our use of the wires. I was going to miss that one. I know you did. Okay, now I'm getting nervous because I didn't hear that piston move. Oh, are you serious? I... That rotten water. You know, it was that water. I'm not even going to answer him. He'll be right. I would have told him if I was finished. Oh dear. How did I manage to let that water in here? I know I built this. Probably shouldn't leave that gap down there because mobs might spawn it. Okay, sounds like we're good. There we go. And we're done. 
Now, as I said, it will completely turn itself off when you leave. A few short pulses, it will just finish its loop, and it's done. So, I hope you enjoyed my small, quick tutorial on a very fast cobblestone generator, and may you have unlimited cobble forever.